and I say, what's going on, my sexy pieces? This is your man, Dan Draws back in with another super, super office, office show. For if you can't dig it, baby, I know you can't hate listening. So dig, baby, I've been dropping pizza reviews this week. You guys beat me upside the head piece. And you were like, damn, when you gonna go ahead and go to Papa John's and review that Shaq Roni pizza, baby? And I'm like, y'all don't even get down with Papa John's like that. I wrote them off so long ago, but because... Shaq got on the good foot, got down with the get down. And because I love my foodie fam, I'm going to slide over there to Papa John's and I'm going to order the Shaqaroni one time for the one time. Also, if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I got something special for you, baby. Let me pull up on this joint. Let me pull up on this joint. Let me pull up on this joint. Let me pull up on the You, you wanted a Dame Drops drink? I'm going to tell you how you can get a Dame Drops drink in your life because it releases tomorrow. Stay tuned to the end of the video. Ooh. Yeah, I'd like to order the shakaroni pizza. Uh, pick up. All right, fam, we're going to get right into a little bit of that Papa John's special garlic love. You know, pizza Papa John's. You got that shack action. As you see, the box is rather large. The pizza's a little bit larger than normal. I was asking my man, I was like, well, in comparison to your regular large, what are you getting extra on this shack -aroni? So let's go ahead and open it up so I can break down what my main man just told me. Basically, he was like, fam, don't ever play yourself on the shack -aroni, Normally, we put five slices of pepperoni on each slice. Here, you're going to get about eight slices of pepperoni crust game thin but a little bit bigger but at the end of the day the pie itself is bigger all right shack sized is the pie now foodie fam foodie fam i'm gonna be sliding back out to cali and i know you guys are like there's a spot called shaquille's i think shack needs to meet me at shaquille's as i do this review shack this is the second thing of yours i reviewed family I already went to Big Chicken, and now I'm about to check out your pizza game. You and my foodie fam are the reason that I even gave Papa John's another chance. And I hope it's hitting, because if it's trash, I'm finna tell you. Let's go in. Mm-hmm. Yo, my crust is dumb soft. That means it's a lot of dough happening on the crust piece. Getting no wild cheesy pull. My man just got finished hooking this up. No wild cheesy pull. That kind of makes me nervous when I don't have a mozzarella pull on my pizza, when it could just pull apart with ease like that. But as you see, a little bit of grease action right there. Uh-huh, fold is bold, a lot of pepperoni, a lot of drip, drip, a lot of drip, drip. That's because the pepperoni gets dripping on the lipping, pimping. And before I hit y'all with the vibes on this, I definitely gotta take a bite out of this crust. You ever eat something because you're hungry and you ain't eat all day? That's where I'm at with this pizza. Papa John, just, just change your oven, yo. And your choice of cheese. Look, I'll be real with y'all. I do not like the cheese on Papa John's pizza. Pepperonis are decent with flavor. The cheese has no pull, which means the cheese is questionable. The sauce is sweet, definitely sweeter than the last time I had it. And the crust is the one thing that a lot of people look forward to on their pizza, is the crust. Me? Nope. This crust is soft. 
and the pizza butt crust is soft too, which is kind of scary at the end of the day. Papa John's, check. The last time I did a Papa John's review, I, I tried to put Papa John's up on game about some things that could change. Hopefully, now that Shaq is rocking with y'all the long way, maybe Shaq is gonna watch this video, maybe he won't. But Shaq, if you're gonna watch this video because I did review your big chicken, which was I, right. it wasn't half bad. It wasn't the greatest chicken in the world, but it wasn't half bad, it was good. Papa John's Pizza is in need of your assistance, Shaq. Like, somebody, the investors, gotta come together, get your little coins up, put your little coins together, rip out your current ovens, just rip them joints all the way out, please, please. Every last location, don't be afraid to start over. Rip them out, go to a true pizzeria, find out the brick ovens they use. Put some brick ovens up off in here. Domino's got a nice crisp on the underbutt of their pies. It's got a nice crisp on the underbutt. And the crust, dumb wild crunchy. Don't be afraid to go the route of Domino's. Don't be afraid to take a page out of their oven book and say to yourselves, we can make our pies better. We can make our pizzas better if we use Domino oven, right? That's the first, that's the first thing you do. You don't serve up soft underbutt. The only time we want soft underbutt is when we playing with soft underbutt. I want crispy underbutt on my pizza. I want crispy butt cheeks. That's the crust of my pizza. That's the first thing I want. Second, whoever you're using for your cheese, they're lazy, baby. They're not giving you mozzarella. They're giving you fugazarella. Fugazi cheese, baby. That cheese don't even pull. What kind of mozzarella don't have no pull? You should have questioned that when it first happened. It's not like you're putting on American slices of cheese. Even that got a little pull to it. You got no pull on a fresh pizza. That is strike number two. Anytime you guys pull a pizza and there ain't no string, there ain't no jungle gym, put it back, send it back. Put it back, send it back. That pizza's fugazi, family. It's fraudulent. It's fox fur. All right, don't play with that. Don't play with that pizza. Like I said, your sauce, is, your sauce is just okay, Papa John's. It ain't the worst sauce in the world. It's somebody's canned sauce. It's just okay. So ultimately, it still leaves your pizza at a one and a half family. A one and a half out of five. Even with Shaq's name on it, Shaq and Ro Even with the fact that a dollar is going to a foundation to help, your pizza still hurts. My feelings, my taste buds, my soul. It hurts. Papa John, you hurt me. Hey, but anyway, enough of that. Let's talk about my Dame Drops drink, shall we? Foodie fam, if you guys are looking for that thirst quenching drink that will never let you down, well, first off, you got to live out here in Connecticut because it's exclusive to Five Churches Brewing. Yeah, Five Churches Brewing right there. Let me give them the plug. I had put up a post a couple months back. And I said I would love to do something with one of my local breweries, a Dame Drops beer. And Five Churches Brewery was the first one to step up. They said, Dame, we got you right here in New Britain. You ain't got to go nobody else. Don't mess with nobody else, Dame. We got you. Even our logo is going to have your beard on it with your grin. Even our logo. It's a weirder beer, y'all. What is weirder? I'm about to put you up on game. The beer is called the Bearded Melody. That was the name I gave it. Now let's talk about the fruit puree that's up off in this thing. Fruit Ale, this offering is near and dear to our hearts. We concocted this weirder with local legend, food critic, and YouTube personality, Dame Drops. A native of New Britain, Dame has supported us from the get-go. Dame expertly selected these fruits to satisfy even the most critical of palates. With a combination of lime, raspberry, and pineapple, you find yourself both refreshed and satisfied, and then reaching to crack open the next one. Get something weirder in your life. And then, of course, uh, check out Dame Drops at youtube.com forward slash Dame Drops. Oh, baby, it's a weirder situation. Just let you guys know, 16 ounces, 1.4% alcohol volume, nice and low, all that good stuff, you know? Ooh, brewed and canned by Five Churches Brewing. 193 Arch Street, New Britain, Connecticut, all that good stuff. You know, government warning, all on the building, rocking with you the long way. The number five, stay alive. Uh-huh, fivechurchesbrewing.com, showing them wild love 
Follow them on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff at Five Churches Brewing. Okay. Ooh, your boy Dame in the building, baby. Mama, I made it. I got my own drink, mama. Now, Food Fam, this is what I'm going to do. Tomorrow, I'm going to do the super official review of these because they actually are on sale as of tomorrow. No, unfortunately, we are not shipping these things. You can only get them at Five Churches Brewing here in New Britain, Connecticut. So you got to slide through and get down with the get down. They're going to sell out pretty fast. All of their waiters, they're out of there, baby. As soon as they announce them, they're out of there. And this one right here, this is going to be the very first Dame Drops Witter collaboration with Five Churches Brewing. So for my Connecticut heads, please, yo, come through, show love. I'm going to definitely be there on Thursday. I don't know if you guys are already watching this video on Thursday. But I'm going to be there on Thursday starting at 3 p.m. I'll be in the building. They open at 3 p.m. I'm going to be there a little bit earlier. You know, uh, social distancing is going to be heavy. You know what I'm saying? Mask up something proper, of course. So I won't be near anybody. You know, there won't be no hugs or nothing else like that. But I will be giving you a head nod like, what up? Appreciate you, doggy. Foodie fan, what up? I say, what up? <laughs> you know, it's about to get a little weirder. About to get a little crazy at Five Churches Brewing. 193 Arch Street, New Britain, Connecticut. Again, Thursday, tomorrow, these go live. And the shirts. I got a little sauce on my shirt. That's when you know it's real. I got a little sauce on my shirt, but uh, the Bearded Melody shirts with my beard. The number five for Five Churches Brewing. And the fruits all over that joint for Fruit Melody. You know what I'm saying? For the Bearded Melody. You see the notes. You see the music notes. You see how real it's getting. Woo! You see Dame Drops beer right here, baby. You see the Dame Drops drink, the Dame Drops adult beverage, baby. The bearded melody, baby. You need this in your life. But again, Superficial Review drops tomorrow alongside of my pizza that's going to complement the bearded melody, which is called Dame Drops Delight. And you're going to see that video. I think I'm going to try to drop it on Friday so you guys can see my pizza that I had a wild idea about. And then, of course, going with my bearded melody and all that good stuff. I just want to thank you guys so much support, so much love. We got so much coming, foodie fam. This is not it at all. But this is just another big step, another page turner in our journey together. You enjoyed the video, hit it with a thumbs up. Share this care, so share this out with friends and family. You're new around here, stay true around here. Be sure to subscribe, turn the notifications on, all that good stuff, because I'm going to beat you in the head every single week with fire. And I'm out of here. Dame Drops, Five Churches Brewing, The Bearded Melody. Get some. Super Fish.